All right, I'm going to be pulling the uh, contactors off of this thing tonight. It's about 20 degrees Fahrenheit and dropping, so I'm going to try to get this done fairly quickly. millimeter nuts on the contactor pack that go to the uh, laminated bus bar here. I'm going to go ahead and pull those off. That should come off. I have the uh, top module out and most of it disconnected so I'm not concerned about electrocuted. Getting electrocuted. This is quite a unique uh, laminated bus bar because they've got 400 volts uh, literally on either side of the strip of mylar on here. So um, this one is pretty curious compared to all the other ones. How they did it. Screw these nuts back on. I don't really want to lose them. The uh, cables to the quick drop connector are 8mm as well. They are bolts instead. And they actually go through to the back side with a pressed in nut into the terminal. That's unique. I have not seen that before. There's a uh, plug, there's a button on this side um, that allows you to push it in and pull it out. Um, this is the 14 volts that goes to the uh, system. I have not yet identified which is positive and which is negative. Low voltage. High voltage is pretty easy because it's red and black. There are a couple of, uh, just to get this harness out of the way, a couple of those press through automotive style connectors that hold the wire harness in. So I'm just popping both of those out and I'm going to set the total harness off to the side here. I'll take this one out towards the top as well. And then as I'm going down the side, go ahead and take those out. Um, looks like we have a, a thermocouple pickup for the bottom row of cells down here. And it actually goes into the second module in from the left side of the pack, looking at it from the contactor side. There's quite a connector set down on the bottom here, so... Once I get this off, hopefully I can uh, figure out what the contactors are switching. My guess is they're can controlled. Um, there's some 10 millimeter nuts or bolts that are holding the contactor assembly on.
looks like four, but one of them is on the bottom, and since I have it lowered, I'll have to get an extension. Correction, there's actually five. There's another one on the bottom over here. It's quite a uh, hefty little block. It definitely has a precharge resistor on the back side. Big power resistor. I'm bending this tab up because I'm sitting on the bottom of the cells and I can't get to the connector. So, um, and then a connector to pop it off. There appears to be a high voltage relay back here, precharge relay, precharge resistor right here, high voltage, well not a high voltage resistor but a resistor. Here is where the uh, precharge leads are coming into the contactor. Then you have two large contactors. The part number on those is AEV6501A and there's two of them. And the all overall module is a Panasonic AEV650201-1. I'm going to go ahead and pull this resistor out um, to get an idea of what it is. My guess is that it's like a 50 ohm. 50 ohm range. Not sure yet. I could measure it with a volt ohm meter, but that's not as fun as pulling it out of the module, is it? It is a 40 watt, 30 ohm, micron, 05A resistor. Go ahead and put that in because I don't need it out. That's a pretty nice module if you need to pre-charge something. Because I'm curious. I'm sure you're curious. Let's find out what this little contactor is. Panasonic had some 10 amp high voltage AEV style on their website. Let's see if this is one of them. This is an AEV 6501C. Um, if I had to guess, it's probably just part of the overall package. High voltage contactor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some pictures of that while I'm at it.
I had to guess, all the wires on these contactors. Ah, I see what they have here. They have a Hall Effect shunt in here as well. Three wire Hall Effect shunt. Goes through a, a bus bar. The part number on that is NCV P300X. And that has an, also an AEV part number of AEV 6501F. Pull the resistor back out once more and get a picture of it. I'm going to go ahead and put the bolts back in the quick drop connector and just thread them back into the main case as well. Second thought, I'm just going to keep them out. I got a tray of fasteners.